Hello, I'm William from Rapalje, and in this one-man show, I'm going to try to explain something about my uh, life as a musician and the things I did before and uh, my plays in Rapalje, and answer a few questions about my life. We've been through some fun things together. Chunks of memories still gone. We found things to do in stormy weather Long may you run Long may you run, baby Long may you run Though these changes have come We know much shining high in the sun Long may you run It was down in Lion River in 1965 when I first saw Hello, welcome to this uh, Rapali show with me telling about myself and my musical career. I think it's about uh, more than 40 years ago when I had my first guitar I had it on Christmas. I dearly wanted to have a, a, a real instrument. I was always practicing on old instruments for my father, an old banjo, and also like a guitar banjo, play on pots and pans to drum on. But I really wanted to have a, a, a real guitar. And I think I had it on the age of 10. Ever since that guitar came in the house, my whole life changed. We had not much money to have music lessons, but a friend of mine, lived in my street. He played already in a band with his brothers. He was older than me. And he taught me some chords and uh, learned me how to hold the guitar, play the rhythm. I think it was about the age of 15 or 16 when I bought my first electric guitar to get in a cover band. We wanted to play U2 stuff, but we were not good enough to play music like that. So we had about a, a simple version, played with reggae music, but uh, I don't think it's ever worked out. We had one or two gigs with that band. And we formed a band with some older guys. We played a lot of music from uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young and Eagles. And we formed a band called Double Cross. They teach me a lot about the music from the 60s and the 70s. That's how I came also into that song from Neil Young, Long May You Run. So it's an opening song ever for me if I play on the street or do a solo performance. In Rapalje, I play Gituki, the Boran, the TTS bass, so now and then a penny whistle, and I sing. At home I play also guitar, try it's piano, but we don't use it on the stage, better not. My tattoos, well this is, uh, the one here is the first one, there's a little Taurus. I had it when I was about, I think 21. This one came much later. A friend of mine who learned to uh, make these beautiful tattoos, he had a shop in Groningen and uh, he actually gave that one for my birthday. And this one came afterwards, after that one, it's from the same guy. Uh, he made this tattoo as well, Tony. And this one is uh, the last one I had on the summer folk, of our own summer folk. The names of my sons. They uh, were there when it got, when I got stabbed, and uh, they've been asking me, "Why do you print our names on your arm, Daddy?" I say, "So I never forget you." And when I'm on the stage and I hold my bazooki or gituki, I always see their names, so I forget, never forget them. Uh, the meaning of this tattoo is actually it's two dragons. I've been born in the year of the dragon in May as a Taurus, and this one is just a free. Uh, drawing of the guy who did it. I had it for my birthday as well. Okay, we just did the, the live stream. Uh, it's Tuesday evening now, and we always do the live stream. Start at 8 o'clock on Facebook. And people are allowed to do questions to the guys of Rapalje. And this uh, special for me, I'm gonna answer the questions they did, the people did on uh, Tuesday. So come on, your questions. Yes, I do uh, do gigs. 
besides Rapalje. And uh, actually it's a dream for me to, to play in a metal band again. And actually it's possible, but I don't have time to go with a motor. that's the thing. I stick too much to Rapalje and I will. But, uh, so now and then when I can do, I do a solo concert. I'll play on the street as a street busker. The first instrument I played was the guitar, actually. Actually the banjo, but I didn't really play it good. I really had my first guitar and started really uh, practicing to be a guitarist. I wanted to be an artist as since the day I was born, I think. I got inspired by a lot of people uh, who played music, and I always wanted to play music. And the songs I played was more like, the songs I liked is more like in the rock, rock music. But uh, if you go further, meet other people in, in the musical scene, you learn other kinds of music. And uh, at the moment it's the Irish music and the Scottish music, or the, the folk music, the number one. As a singer, ask me as a singer who I, uh, who I like the most as a singer. Uh, he's already dead, but it was only James Dio. This man has such a powerful voice, and uh, I got really inspired by that man. The biggest mistake I made on the stage was once when I sing in Caledonia, and you got this part in Caledonia said, I traveled fast with conscience flying, and I was looking at the audience, I forgot the words, and I was singing, I was traveling fast with cold shit flying, and nobody heard it, only me, it was like an echo coming back, and the woman who sat behind the, the table to the lights, I saw her head getting big and big and red, and she started laughing so loud, and nobody knew why. But it was my biggest mistake. I'm uh, born and raised in Groningen, a small city in Holland. When I start to perform, I'm actually never nervous. It only can be like uh, on the stage, where you have to ch ch change in between other bands. That's so hectic, and I have to chew my guitar up, and the people are all around, and you got loud music around you. And I got a bit like, it's not nervous, but like, huh, I don't like that. I made a living uh, from music before I played with Rapaya, but it was more like a solo career. I played on my own as a street busker and played in pubs and bars. No, I don't have a motorcycle. Uh, I don't have a motorcycle. If people ask me what I've got, you know, so have you got a Harley? I said, no, I've got only two horsepowers and they're in the stable. Uh, if people ask me what kind of job I would like to do, I did a job. Uh, I was working at a railroad company, being a train connector, and I really loved the job. It's not one of the, the, the most idle jobs you can have, but I loved the job. I did it for two years. So I uh, hope I uh, answered the, the most of your questions. And if you've got more questions, don't hesitate. Just be easy and free when you're talking to me.